Good morning, my name is David Greenfield. I am the council member from the 44th Council District in Brooklyn. I'm privileged to serve as the chair of the Land Use Committee. I want to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of the committee and joining us. Folks in the audience, if you don't mind just uh, whispering, please, in your conversations. I know this is very riveting information that's going on here today. Uh, I want to recognize Councilmember Gentili, Councilmember Mendez, Chair Ku, Councilmember Lander, Councilmember Williams, Chair Richards, Councilmember Kalos, Councilmember Reynoso, Councilmember Torres, and Chair Salamanca. I want to thank Chair Salamanca, Chair Richards, and Chair Ku for their excellent work on our land use subcommittees. Today we'll be voting to approve LU 715, the Manhattan West Phase 3 Tax Amendment. For property in the Special Hudson Yards District in Manhattan, we will be voting to disapprove the Predamange Unenclosed Sidewalk Cafe LU712. We'll also be voting to approve with modifications the ECF East 96th Street projects LU700 through 703. We'll also be voting on a motion to file the Baychester Square rezoning LU694 to 699, which is in Councilmember King's District, which was withdrawn this morning. The Manhattan West Phase 3 application is for a zoning text amendment that would alter the design requirements for a public access area associated with the development of the 9th Avenue Rail Yard in Councilmember Johnson's district. The Predamante application for revocable consent for unenclosed sidewalk cafe on Chambers Street is in Councilmember Chin's district. was proposed with four tables and eight chairs near a busy intersection on Chambers Street. As we just heard in the subcommittee, Councilmember Chin's view is that a cafe obstructing the sidewalk at this location at this time poses safety concerns for pedestrians in this crowded area undergoing significant construction activities. Next, we'll be voting to approve with modifications the ECF East 96th Street application, LU 700 through 703. This application is for a zoning map amendment, zoning text amendment, and two special permits to allow for the development of a full block site located in the Speaker's District. The site currently contains the Marx Brothers Playground and the Coop Tech High School. The new development would include the reconstruction of the Marx Brothers Playground, a new space for the Coop Tech High School, two new spaces for public high schools containing 430 and 340 students and nearly 1 million square feet of residential space. That's three new public schools. 30% of the apartments will be reserved for affordable units averaging 60% of the AMI, which is really an incredibly low AMI when you consider how large of a percentage that is at 30%. There will also be 20,000 square feet of retail. The speaker supports approval of this application with a modification of the plans to definitively cap the height of the mixed-use buildings at 673 feet and 10 inches. We got down to the inch, folks and has also achieved deeper affordability with more units reaching 40% AMI and below, an additional tier of units at 30% of AMI. The plan also calls for improvements to a nearby park and outreach for local hiring. The speaker also explained her vote in support at the prior subcommittee hearing. We'll also be voting to file LU 694 through 699, the Baychester Square applications, which have been withdrawn. I understand that Councilmember King has tried to work extensively with EDC, the developer, and other city agencies to find a compromise on this application, but in the end was unable to support the approval or modification. I want to thank EDC and the developer for all the time and the effort they put into this project. We look forward to continuing to work on a plan for this very important site that would be more appropriate and would have more community support in the future. Are there any questions or remarks on these applications? I want to recognize that we've been joined by Council Member Levin as well. We will now move on to a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and the recommendations of the Council Members to approve LU 715, approve LU 700 to 703 with modifications, disapprove LU 712, and file 694 through 699. Will our wonderful clerk please call the roll? Nice haircut. William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Land Use. All items are coupled. Chair Greenfield. I vote aye on all. Gentili. I vote I know. Mendez. Aye. Ku. Uh, Mr. Chair, can I say something before I vote? Absolutely. I want to thank you, Chair Ku. I hear that you had an incredibly successful and wonderful council member dinner this past week. And so <laughs> thank you for bringing all of your colleagues out to your district in such a collegial fashion. I heard the food was excellent, and uh, your stand-up comedy was especially appreciated. Okay. Rec Chair recognizes Chair Ku. So I would like to welcome interns uh, from Korean American Civic Empowerment, also known as CASE, uh, who are here to learn about the city council and experience local government in action. I'd also like to thank the two mentors, Charissa and Sung, for their leadership. And with that, I will eye for all. Thank you, Chair. I certainly want to welcome Korean American Civic Empowerment Group. Thank you to all these young folks for joining us here today. We appreciate you coming out here. And uh, you're fortunate to have really one of the best council members in New York City representing you 
Chair Ku and the Chair, we thank you for your leadership as well. The Chair recognizes Councilmember Kalos for a vote. Permission to explain my vote? You want to explain your vote as well? We only gave you recognition to vote. <laughs> All right, the Chair recognizes Councilmember Kalos to make comments on his vote as well. I uh, want to uh, take a moment. This project is outside my district. It is literally across the street. I want to take a moment to thank Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito for... And you see uh, it from your district, like Alaska and Sarah Palin? So, again, I want to just uh, say I want to thank the Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito for taking the time to review this project for me with me from the outset, uh, as well as Manhattan Borough President uh, Gail Brewer, who really took interest in the sensitivities and concerns that came uh, from my district across the street, as well as uh, Community Board 11, which did a great amount of work with the community in hearing from the community. And uh, I think that this project is uh, better than when it started. Uh, the park is protected. And uh, whereas currently there is a demised, demolished park that's been used to build the 2nd Avenue subway for some 10 years, we will actually get a new park. And without it, I'm not sure how we could. Uh, we will be getting three new schools, which are the first three new schools in East Harlem in 50 years. And if folks haven't ever heard me say this before, we desperately need more schools in this city and especially in Manhattan. And then. In addition, they got even more affordability into this project. We're talking at 30 percent of AMI, 40 percent of AMI, uh, about over 100 units for people who are very low income who live in East Harlem will be able to actually move into these apartments because so often we do affordable housing where people ask affordable for whom because no one in the area can afford it. Uh, and certainly last but not least, they did all of this while hearing concerns from the community uh, that it might be a little bit too tall, and they've reduced the height of the building from 720 feet without the mechanicals to under 700 feet without the mechanicals, capping this at 673 feet and 10 inches. So that is a lot of victories while still getting the project to be shorter. Just want to appreciate that, appreciate the sensitivity. Thank the speaker, everyone involved, and the staff. I vote aye. Thank you, Councilmember Kellis, and thank you for your significant input in this process as well. Turn it over to the clerk to keep calling the roll. Rodriguez. Aye. Lander. Aye. Levin. Aye. Rose. Aye. Williams. Aye. Richards. Aye. Reynoso. Aye. Torres. Aye. Salamanca. By a vote of 14 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been approved as indicated on the agenda by the committee. Councilmember Barron. I vote aye. All items now stand at 15 in the affirmative. All right, we are uh, officially waiting for Councilmember Cohen. Because it's his birthday, we are going to wait for him as long as it takes. But in the meanwhile, uh, folks who, it is his birthday. If it was your birthday, we wait for you too. In the meanwhile, uh, we are done with the voting portion. So for folks who have voted, if you can feel free to leave. And we will see you shortly at the stated meeting. Thank you very much.